So I'm, I'm with Petra Busse. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, IRC. I wanted, well, we've got this really nice music playing from um, like a band in the background, but I wanted to talk to you about engaging young people in the whole issue of water and sanitation. Now, I mean, you, you mentioned that topic before, but what does it really mean? When you say engaging, does it, is it like getting more engineers? Involved, or is it about campaigning? Or is, it's about awareness. It's about funding stuff. It's about capacity building. It sounds what does like that a mean? yeah. It so, sounds like a boring uh, uh, term. Uh, basically, we have this program in IRC uh, that uh, brought four young professionals of partner organizations from Nepal, Uganda, Ghana, and uh, Honduras. They came to IRC. They got into a training, and then went off for nine months, they're currently in their fifth month, uh, to learn and experience what it is to be in another country and work on issues of water and sanitation. What the advantages it is really? To learn from how, how they are operating uh, in terms of water and sanitation, uh, knowledge development, uh, knowledge dissemination, how do are they operating in another country? Take that experience along to your own country and implement that as well, or doing it differently. Yeah. So I mean, I'm interested. In, I mean, is that something that you experienced when you, you know, as you got into your career? Did you spend time you in know, another country? Time? Yeah. Yeah. I went to Honduras. What did it mean for you? Uh, it meant. What did it mean for me? It was the greatest experience of my life. Really? Yeah. Why? Why? Because it was difficult, because it was hard, and it was a lot of fun. Did it? I mean, because, uh, you know, th those kind of things take you out of your comfort zone in a big way, don't they? Definitely. How old were you when you did it? 22. Yeah. I mean, is, is the only way that people can really get involved in international development to, to spend time in other countries? Do you think it's possible for people to do it if they don't go abroad? They can do it, yeah. I think they can do it, but uh, going abroad and uh, exper experience the experience uh, gives another idea of how things work uh, over there and yeah. and uh, why are not why are the people not answering their emails? Ah, it's because the power goes down like twenty times a day or something like that. Yeah. So, in terms of the program you're talking about, what are the plans for it? moving forwards? The, the, the plans are that they're coming back in uh, June to, to, to learn from each other's experiences. So they all come together? They all come together. Right. And when they do that, where? Where? In The Hague. Oh, they, so they come to the yeah. International Water yeah. House in The Hague? Exactly. Oh, I'll see it. Okay. Great. And then uh, another round of four uh, young professionals will start at the same time and they will uh, go abroad uh, as well. And who funds this? Uh, it's IRC yeah. together with PSO. It's a Dutch uh, NGO focusing on capacity development. Great. Okay, well great. Thanks Petra. Thank you. Thanks.